Barn Dominiums. They, some of them are super cool. So I have to begin by saying I'm a fan. I like the look of a log cabin style barn dominium with exposed beams and porches and dormers. So I'm coming from a place of appreciation with the idea of a barn dominium. But there are three things you really need to know about a barn dominium. In the first one is you can't automatically build a barn dominium at the same place that you could build a traditional house in a subdivision for most cases. Because a lot of these cities, subdivisions, villages have restrictions on the type of construction. And in some cases, a barn dominium qualifies more as a pole barn or a post and beam construction and some areas don't allow it. Number two, the financial savings. A lot of people think they'll save money building a barn dominium, but the bulk of like your permits, your utility connections, your driveway, your culvert fees, it's all gonna be the same. So it just comes down to the construction of the house. There may be some savings. The bigger thing is financing. Because they're not a traditional home, they may be a little more difficult to finance.